Okay, good morning, folks. It is entrepreneurial wisdom time with Luna. Say hi, Luna. Say what up, peeps. It's time to drop some nuggets. So today, I wanted to talk about the art of the start. Um, this is for all of the startup entrepreneurs out there. Now, you know you're in a startup if basically you're getting things off the ground. You're getting your business off the ground. You're getting your product off the ground. Uh, something needs to get off the ground. And the startup period, uh, you could also be in the formation phase of all the strategy thinking, you know, what's the best way to do this? What's the best way to come to market? What's the best way to, you know, what business to join? Um, all of this time period, from the time you basically finalize and lock on your business idea and then formulate it, bring it to market, and actually get it successful, that whole time period is startup. And startup is one of the most difficult times of business. Startup is really, I'm gonna share an analogy with you today, okay? This is the startup, the art of the start. And no matter who you are or when you're going through it, we all have to go through the same thing. So. There's a story of a young boy who came across a caterpillar that had turned into a butterfly and was ready to hatch out of the cocoon. Caterpillar was hatching out of the cocoon as a butterfly and it was struggling. It was struggling immensely. This caterpillar was, you know, clawing and gnawing and, you know, trying to get out of this cocoon. And the little boy thought, well, you know, that poor guy, I'm going to help him out. He's really struggling in there. And so he took out a little knife and he cut a little hole in the cocoon so that the butterfly could actually get out. But to his surprise, when the butterfly got out of the cocoon, all it did was roll around and it could never really take flight and it eventually died. And he was like, well, what the hell? That wasn't what I wanted to happen. So he went back and he researched it and come to find out, come to find out that the process of struggling, the process of struggling is absolutely inherent to the ability for the butterfly to fly. Because if the butterfly doesn't struggle, while it's trying to bust out of that cocoon, it moves all the fluid from the center of its body out to its wings so that its wings actually have strength. And the poor butterfly that got let out and didn't have to struggle out, the fluid was all in the middle of his body. He never was strong enough to fly, and so they die if you help them. So there's this inherent part of the process where we have to struggle. We have to. We are the butterflies right now, busting out of cocoons. Anyone who's in startup mode, and anyone who wants to get to any next level in their life, you've got to struggle because it's the part, it's that inherent process itself that forces the fluid to your wings so you can fly. It forces growth so that you become the person that you really need to be and that we all really need to be to make our dreams and to make our visions come true. So the startup mode is um, undoubtedly very difficult. It constantly tests your belief in yourself. It constantly tests your persistence, it constantly tests your doubts, it forces you to be nimble, to move quickly, to change, to iterate, to adapt, to be enormously creative and resourceful. I mean, really, in startup time, you have to be creative, you have to be resourceful, and a lot of times, the more cash-strapped you are, the better, because it forces that even more. If you can just put cash towards things, you don't actually develop the resourcefulness and the creativity that businesses truly need to survive. So if you're in the startup mode, I um, have a lot of empathy for you and, uh, and just try to remember that the struggle is literally what pushes the strength, the fluid to your wings so that you can fly and just keep the persistence and know that um, whatever it takes, once you're out of startup mode, you know, things change, uh, the, the obstacles change, they're still there, uh, but it does enter into a different phase and... Um, Anyways, hope this was helpful to you all. Much love. Say goodbye, Luna. Ciao.